Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to have a look at trying to recreate some sequences that I hear a lot from Earth Space Tracks. This is a producer that I uh, enjoy a lot. I've played a lot of his tracks in my DJ sets and um, what I really like about his music is these type of risers and like these sequences which act as a tension builder. So let's just have a listen. Um, we got three tracks. We got Freedom Has No Boundaries, Freaking Out, and Live Your Life to the Fullest. Um, I hope I don't get copyright striked for this, but I've tried to isolate the actual uh, sequence that we're going to try and recreate. So let's just have a listen. So it's like this repeating pattern we hear. And then we have a turnaround after the end of the second bar each time. Then for, let's just have a further isolation of this echo sequence. So yeah, I hope you can hear what I'm after. The second track will be Freaking Out. So let's just hear it out in a little bit of isolation. This one is a little bit more obvious. So yeah, that was the second one, and then we have the last one. And this one is the actual squelch that comes in and out all the time. I hope you can hear it better now. So yeah, let's go back to the first track again. And I'm going to hear it one more time. So we have like this repeating pattern, one, two, three, and then it goes back to a turnaround every second bar. So it's, this one should be quite easy to get the actual rhythm correct, but we're going to use different sounds, of course, because my goal is not to recreate it 100%. I'm just after for the idea and the vibe in itself which is like this short repeating pattern that is quite simple, yet very powerful. Um, so let's just use our LFO for this, and I'm going to map that to a wavetable position. And I'm going to use some uh, wavetables from my upcoming side tables volume 5. And let's just see what uh, we have here. So maybe we can use something like Sweeper. Let's see how that sounds. Nope, too static. Maybe this one. And since it turns around after two bars, we need to set our LFO to a two bar length um, in, in duration. So let's just do something like this. And here. I think it really, I believe it goes down here. Nope. It should be here. Good. Now we're a bit too fast. I think it actually goes down here. Then it does some kind of weird turnaround, so maybe it does something like this. Cool, we got that down. What you could do for further movement is that you have slight, 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 slight wavetable modulation. 
And maybe we have it something like, I don't know, over four bars. Maybe over 16 bars even. So yeah, you get the idea. Let's move on to the next one. So these sounds are really simple, but they can be they can be quite effective um, in the right context. So the second one was this one. So I want to go for the same idea here. So I'm going to open up Serum, and I'm going to grab a uh, weight table. And I don't know, maybe format zero two. Just gonna pick one. And I'm gonna set the LFO to half a bar. And let's just. Perfect. Then we can just like draw some kind of arbitrary shape like this. Maybe some other shape. Could maybe do some kind of FM. I'm not happy with that sound. Let's try some of my other ones, maybe the formant ones. Maybe this one. Perfect. And it sounds like there's some kind of sync. So what we can do is we can map a macro to that, set it to sync. And then we can automate this one. Could also do something like this. Cool. I think I'm happy with that.
Like, obviously, there's some kind of layering in the background happening, but uh, for the simple tension builder sound, I think I got it quite close. Could perhaps tweak more with the wavetable, but um, yeah, that's just going to do it for now. And the last one would be the squelch one. This one is a little bit more tricky, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a um, just a simple saw, and I'm going to have the bandpass, 24 dB. And then I'm going to draw some kind of LFO shape again, but let's just start something like this maybe then it goes back up map that to the pitch Perfect. Then we can just record that, record that in actually. So, Let's just see how that looks. Cool. So kind of kind of a saved moment, I guess. And of course you could add some more effects, maybe add some drive. Maybe some distortion. So yeah, that's basically the ideas that I wanted to share. Um, I highly recommend trying out something like this yourself and try to, if you like a certain track, try and isolate the sound that you're trying to, or the vibe that you're trying to get and try to recreate something similar. Um, it's very helpful and you can learn a lot by practicing this type of technique. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was quite of a long one this time, but uh, anyways, uh, leave a comment on what you think about the video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.